Those of you who have smart lights, I'm sure you hate it when this happens. Turn on sitting room. Sitting room isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. So to stop that from happening, I got um, a smart switch. So you can actually turn it off, on and off on the switch itself or command it through your smart speaker or through the, the Smart Life app. So this one is compatible with Smart Life. Um, and here's some instructions here. There's not very many instructions. And it's got a QR code on the back. So you can use your phone just to scan that QR code. I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. So on your camera, You should have uh, an option. So I've got it set on QR code just there. Okay, you just pop that under. Where are we? Let's have a look. And it should take you to the app, which tells you the instructions. Uh, let's put it in English, we don't want it in Chinese. And there you have the instructions there. And also you've got a safe download for Smart Life there. So this is compatible with the Smart Life app. And the reason I've gone for Smart Life is because a lot of my um, smart bulbs are compatible with Smart Life and I didn't want to have another app uh, involved. So that's that there. Now, also what I've got here, I did buy some uh, a few extra long screws just in case, because sometimes when you take the switches off, you find the screws supplied or the screws that are already in, they don't reach the... Um, uh, the screw holes so it's sometimes best uh, to get a few longer screws just in case these will probably be okay and if I don't use I use these I can always use them at the time um, and as you can see on the back here you've got all the connections um, and then we're going to give it a go and the first thing I want to say is before you start doing this uh, make sure you turn off all the power, okay? Make sure all your electricity is turned off before you have a go at this. And if you're not sure, just get an electrician to fit it. It'll probably cost you 30, 40 pounds, okay? So this is the light switch I'm going to be changing uh, for the smart switch. Now in the UK, the problem we have is that most switches don't have a neutral. And a lot of smart switches um, have, you have to have a neutral with it. Uh, so the one I've got does not have a neutral, so that will be okay to install in most UK households. Okay, so I got my uh, electrical panel here. Now, on here it does say lights, I can turn off all the lights, but I'd rather in the side of caution turn the whole power off. So this long one here will turn everything off, the sockets, the power, everything. Uh, you can just turn the lights off if you want, but I'm, I'm uh, just to be over cautious, I'm going to turn all the power off, okay? So that's everything off now. Okay, so first you need to get the um, the case off the front. It's quite easy. Just put a screwdriver in there and pop it up. One, two, and that comes off then. And that's where you're going to fit into the light. Okay, and this just simply clips back on quite easily onto that case there. Okay, so I'm just going to take the front of this off and then I have to undo these screws here. Okay. Okay, and then you can see the wires at the back there, which I'll go through in a second. Okay, so as you can see on the back of this plug, we've got four wires here. So it's a permanent live and a switched live. Now, the trouble with these older houses is some of the, the colorings aren't quite correct. They don't match up to the modern standards. So I've got four wires here, as I said, two permanent lives and two switched lives. Now this is the issue I've got. If I show you the back of the plug 
here, you can just see that there, you've got one live and two switch, two switch lives. So what I'm probably going to have to do is put the two lives in this switch into this plug, into this live here, and then put the switch live in L1 and the other switch live in L3. But what I want to do is test which ones are the switch lives and which ones are the permanent lives. So if you can see the, the, the wires here, oh, this is going to focus that in for you. So I'm just going to touch the wires here. Can you see what the, can you see what's happened? So this is this is a live wire. This it looks like that's a switch live wire. That's a live wire. And that one's the switch wire. So this one and this one go into L1 and L sorry, L1 and L3. And these these live ones here will have to go into uh, the live. Just to show you now, as soon as I switch this on, can you see he's not reading nothing here at all? As soon as I switch this on, the switch live should be live now. There you go. I turn it off, and it's dead. Same with the other side. So there's nothing in it at the moment. I turn it on, and there you go. You can see this power going through it. So now I'm going to get this wired up. Okay, so I've got the wire off now, uh, and it's always best uh, to keep check, even though I've got the power off, it's always best to double check with your tester and make sure uh, there's no electricity flowing through the wires. And as you can see, they're all off and safe. And also what I've done, uh, I've just put a little bit of tape around the live wires so I know which ones are which. So these two are the live wires and these two uh, are the switch lives here. So um, as you can see here, I've got it all wired in. So these are the wall lights now and these are the ceiling lights and these are the two lives going into L. So that's L, L1 and L3. Now when I put the wall lights into L1 and the ceiling lights into L3, it didn't work. So now I've had to, I've had, all I did was swap the wires around and it worked. Bizarre, I don't know why, a uh, bit odd, but now my light switches are on the opposite side, so that'll confuse the wife. Okay, so it's all fitted, um, and I'll turn, I'll turn this light off here so you can see the lights going on and off. So that's my ceiling lights, and that's my wall lights. And as you can see, they, they lit up there, in the, as you can see in the dark there. Okay, and now we're going to set it up with the app uh, so we can use it with um, my smart speaker. So now, before I put it on the wall, I just want to make sure it connects properly to uh, my Wi-Fi. So what you've got to do, you've got to press and hold uh, one of the switches for five seconds and it makes a beep noise and starts flashing. Okay, that's it there. Now, you can't see it flashing. If I turn this off, you should be able to see it. You can see it flash in there, look. Okay. So. On the on the app. You should see uh, switch Wi-Fi on here. In electrician switch Wi-Fi. Just press that. Confirm indicator is blinking rapidly. Which it is. I'm going to press it now. 2.4 gigahertz you want it on. Okay. And click. And it should see there's no setting up and I'll get back to you when it's set up. Okay, it's actually good this has happened. As you can see, I don't know if you can quite see that. Let me just focus that in for you. And on here it says device did not respond. Twice switch pairing mode, check if device, check if 2.4 gigahertz, etc. etc. So what's happened is is that my router it, it can do 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And what's happened is is the phone's trying to set it up on 5 gigahertz. So what I've got to do now is go into my router settings um, and reset, uh, turn off my five gigahertz and it should, it should set up okay then. 
Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to get the IP address. The IP address, you can get it through a search engine. Just type in your router and uh, IP address. So it could be a BT or Toto or Virgin router and IP address, and they should find it in your search engine. But it's also, don't panic, it's also on the back of the router. So you should have no problems. So I've now logged into the page here <clears throat> with the IP address and it's asking me to log in. And just down here, if you can see it there, make sure that's going to focus for you. Okay, you can see that on the back of the router, just here, you've got uh, your username and password. Don't try and put in the network name or the network password, it won't work. It has to be the router IP address there, which you've put into the search. Then you put the router username, which is normally admin, if you haven't changed it, and the router password, which whatever it is, and that's on the back of your router. So I'll just log into this now, and I'll get back to you when I've logged in. Okay, so it's logged in, and as you can see here, you've got the dashboard, uh, and it's all in there. So what you want to do is click on Internet Settings. It might be something different in yours, but it's normally Internet Settings. You just click on that. And it tells you to come in speed and then it says manage advanced settings. Now it's important when you're in advanced settings that you don't touch anything that you're not sure of because you could mess it up, okay? So down the bottom here, it tells me uh, what's connected uh, to the router on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz just here. So you can see I got three Amazon devices connected to 5 gigahertz and these devices connected to the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, these uh, these ESPs are all my lights. And what I'm gonna do today is connect another light up to a lamp, just to show you how to do it. So the first thing that you do is disable your 5G. So you go into the settings tab. And again, don't um, change anything in here. All you wanna do is just turn it off. Just keep it all the same here, okay? Turn it off. So that's off now, and then click Apply. And that's done. Okay, so I've turned off my 5G now. And I'm gonna start, start the process all again. Okay, I'll come back to you when it's finished. Okay, so I've logged back in uh, to my router's um, IP address and again just go to the, to the dashboard there click on internet settings you scroll down here manage advanced settings and I can't stress enough don't touch anything you're not sure of in there okay you could mess up your Wi-Fi and so down here now as you can see they're all connected to 2.4 which will probably overload it now a little bit and it might not work very well so I need to turn the 5G back on So just here, click on the Settings tab. I'm just going to turn it back on. And then I'm going to Apply. Continue. And that's done. If I go home now, just come back around here. Okay, so it's all set up now. And I'm going to show you here. So just let it, let it focus on that. So you've got the two buttons here. I've got my wall light and my ceiling light. Just there. So I press that one. Boop. And it also works for my smart speaker. Turn off ceiling. Turn off wall lights. And voila, it's all done. And that's how you fit a smart light switch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.